care about that. I just like getting out in the middle of nowhere. Which has happened. Ancient Ange, how did you know? Just looking on your computer, how did you know? Badass. This reminds me of the fairy tale golf path, golf cart path. Where was that? Oregon, maybe? <laughs> this is this is good. Self, though get gas in like a main town I just stopped at some ancient gas station middle of nowhere you know where the tanks you can't use a credit card and all that stuff old school and I filled up the tank and it was nine dollars <laughs> for like half a tank of gas 550 a gallon That's uncalled for Uncalled for And I think something's wrong with the uh, the fuel gauge cuz I was at half a tank and now it's full and it says trip F, which means you need fuel. And it says I have 1.7 miles left to go. And the gauge isn't correct either. So something happens when you open the cap, I think. I'm not sure what, but it's kind of nerve wracking to wait for it to tell the truth. like, do I have a fuel leak? Has all the fuel just leaked out of my tank? Damn, this road. Yes! It's like a little creek down there. This is the shit right here. Sam, man, I'm after your job, brother. Weird barns on top of that ridge. What's going on back here? Uh oh. My sign said homeowners this way. Is that going to mean this is going to end and not go through? Come on, man. Does that mean it's gonna be private property up here somehow? Gated? Come on.
Don't poop on my balloon, man. That's one of my wife's sayings. She has, she has some strange sayings. Oh, maybe I'm good. I think I'm good. Don't poop on my balloon, but you know exactly what that means, right? <laughs> it's like, don't pee in my pool, <laughs> but, but a lot grosser. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My wife is so weird. Hey, Future Ranch here. And uh, so there I was out in the middle of the woods, probably been on that dirt road for at least an hour so i was out there um and you could tell i was just in a great mood having a great time and uh then again out in the middle of nowhere i come across this what kind of weirdness is this don't want to know. Just going to keep on moving. And um, what you can't see in the video is the huge wave of bad vibrations that came off that little gathering. Um, the other thing you don't see is uh, when I was riding in, and I thought this was weird, but there was like uh, a dude in an old truck parked on the side of the road um, with a huge Confederate flag coming out the top. Um, sort of sitting there on the bed of his truck, smoking a cigarette and uh, just just like gave me this weird, he was, he was looking out, he was a lookout. He was like a sentry or something, I don't know. Maybe this is an after the fact conspiracy theory that I'm inventing, but um, but I saw him and then I passed them. And then a mile later, there was another one on the other side. A dude in a Jeep just sitting there watching. And so I don't know. The whole thing is just freaky. I'm not into it. Just not good. Not good at all. And uh, I don't know exactly what that was all about. Um, but I, uh, I've been told that the flags seem like sort of three percenter uh, oath keeper type deals. You know, in the South, you're, you get used to seeing Confederate flags now and then. Um, I mean, you get as used to it as you can, but uh, something like that way out in the middle of the woods where no one else is, is uh is freaky and uh it kind of threw a dark cloud over the rest of the day to be honest and you know it's just uh seems like people might be able to find uh, better things to do with their time that's all i'm saying man i gotta say I, I i'm a very like live and let live kind of person i totally follow the whole do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting anybody And I really don't care what you do as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. But I gotta say, <laughs> passing something like that, it makes me uneasy. I have no idea what it was. I'm not, I'm not saying that I do. I don't, but it makes me uneasy. Just a gut reaction of uncomfortableness. It's not cool, man. Find another fucking hobby. You know what I mean?
This is getting pretty rough. Well, my batteries died and for some reason my inverter got switched off so they weren't charging. So this one's gonna die too, but here's the update. I finally did hit a gate in a uneasy forest, but I found a, another way out. I didn't have to go all the way back, but it uh, put me off my route by a lot and uh, made a detour. And this is Rowan Mountain, so I missed showing you some of Rowan Mountain State Park. Now we're in North Carolina. That's where the Appalachian Trail crosses right there, and it's a beautiful hike. My wife and I went out there one time, and it's pretty amazing up here. I don't know if you can see through those trees, but crazy. I think Rowan Mountain, Max Patch, and Black Balsam Bald are probably some of the best views in the entire world. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And this road has been fun. getting a little late in the day. I thought about bypassing this and going straight south, but I don't know. Just want to make it to the top of Linville Gorge. My ass hasn't called me yet, but it is definitely not in the fighting shape like it was at the end of the tap. Hurting just a little bit.
here's Bakersville, North Carolina. If you ever wondered what that was like. no outlet sign so this is probably a waste of time but you never know I mean I'm sure this is going to be a waste of time it's pretty though road. Okay, so here's Bakersville, where I just was. And what I was trying to do is I'm always trying to stay off these main roads, like uh, this is 226, 261 up here. And so when I was planning the trip, I saw that from Bakersville, you could go down through here, over here, and then up this crazy road and then over and get to here and then I'm trying to get over here to Linville Falls um, but and so this is where I am in this next clip and uh, it just goes to show you that you cannot trust Gaia all the time I mean this looks like a normal road Henson Creek Road let's see what Google Maps says about Henson Creek Road Here's the same area on uh, Google Maps, and clearly you can see this is where the end was, and then Henson Creek Road came up like this and connected here. Well, it doesn't really, and you can see that on Google Maps. But look, when I turn on the satellite, there it is, right there. So I guess maybe that's like a trail. Anyway, it was marked private property. There's no going up it. Guy wants me to go up private property and not eat, not at all a road. So, time to regroup once again. I bet it's cool up there though. I don't know if it's that you can't trust Gaia or I think sometimes I start these routes and I leave it on hiking instead of driving. But that's private property. That shouldn't even be a hiking. I mean, it's straight right here. Why do you need, why do you need these curves? <laughs> Somebody was drunk. That doesn't go anywhere. Well, damn it. Look at that though. Jeez, yes. Oh man. Looks like the only way to get over those mountains to the left of me is to go all the way back to Baker's. What are you going to do? And so I'm about Ten minutes from where I think I'm going. Oh, and I just had to 
I whipped down to this place called the Pinola Motel or something because I stopped in to get a couple of beers for tonight at a gas station. And again, with the Southern laws, man. And actually, this is a federal law. There's some kind of distance from the Blue Ridge Parkway you have to be in order to sell beer. And, they, and he said it's a federal law. So he sent me to the Pinola Motel, which is apparently like inches over that line so they can sell beer. And I couldn't just get a couple. I had to get a six pack, which I won't drink tonight, but later I'll show you the best feature of the Moscow Moto Reckless 80. <laughs> it's a three day holiday weekend. And uh, I stopped by a campground there full Went to a, like a national park, first come, first serve campground, they're full. And so I wasn't too worried because I was just going to go down 105, um, old NC 105, and just uh, find a spot because there's just dirt dispersed camping there. But the first person told me you have to have a permit, and, and I don't. But then I just saw a park ranger who told me you only need a permit on one side of the road, on the other side you don't. But that all the pullouts are gonna be full anyway. So. I think I'm bumming. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the situation. I definitely don't want to do I definitely don't want to do old NC 105 at night Let's just see what happens I want one of those beers So here's a uh, old NC-105. My mission is to find a spot. Any spot will do. It has to be a pull off where he gets in trouble. And there's somebody in every one. But anyway, this is NC-105, old NC-105, it's Killer Road. And I know how this is going to go. know how this is gonna oh hold on hold on now is this a pull out not really well this is pretty sketch but It may just have to do. Because I gotta have one of those beers, man. Let's get our priorities straight, you know what I mean? Mm. There definitely is a reason why no one is here.
All right, so here's the whole route. Um, here's Asheville. I did this on day one up to here somewhere and then came around into the Jefferson National Forest over here and came down through the Iron Mountains here. And then this is the uneasy forest where I came across the weirdness. And I, I didn't want to get on this main road here um, that goes down to Rowan. So I had tried this. This is when the camera's batteries died. I tried something over here. I tried this and none of them went through. Very cool area, but, um, but nothing went through. So I had to boot over to Hampton and then come down state line road here, which, uh, it also has a number. I can't, I can't remember what it is. And then this is where I crossed over Rowan mountain, Rowan mountain state, state park. Came down here to Bakersville. This is where I made that little mistake dead end. So I came back to Bakersville, went down Spruce Pine, swung over here, and ended up in the Linville Gorge. <laughs> First of all, to everyone who watched the tat videos, I'm kind of wild camping, right? <laughs> right? But most importantly, is the key feature of the Moscow beaver tail. Oh, yeah! That's the best thing ever. This is without a doubt the worst campsite of all time. I'm on a nice angle there. <laughs> it's gonna be ridiculous. But I'm somewhere, at least. It's getting too dark to film anymore, but I did want to show you my new find. I love ramen camping. I love ramen anyway, but it's so bad for you. And there's a, a what's his name? This famous chef, and he owns a restaurant called Momofuku in New York, and he's come out with this ramen that's like decent. And it's pretty damn good, I gotta tell you. Future Ange, put on what the guy's name is. He's got some good cooking shows and stuff like that, or food shows. So I'm cooking up some of that, and I'm very excited. And that's about it. I'm gonna uh, eat some, drink some of those beers over there, and sleep on an incline. Should be good. I'll see you in the morning.